I've got a really interesting uh, image for you. So I see this man. He's about 32. He, he's about 32. He's wearing a hat. He's wearing like medieval clothing. And he's sort of like a lord or a vassal or somebody who's, you know, got a significant amount of land and possibly this might be his castle. It's not like the, the, the Disney type of a castle. It's a little bit more like a fortress. And I see him kind of stomping his feet and he's all like, I've had it. I'm done here. And there's a door. So he heads for the door. And as soon as he touches the doorknob and opens the door to the other, to the outside world, the castle is no longer a castle. It becomes like, like a picture of a castle on, on a stage, like on a, like on a, a play set, like on the wall, it's a picture of a castle. And as he walks away, he hangs onto that doorknob and it, it pulls the picture of the castle off the wall. So it's almost like everything that was built was a lie. That's what it feels like to me. Everything that I thought was very solid, a, a stone fortress or a stone castle, it was only a picture. It was only made of paper. It could be ripped down. It could be rebuilt. It could be demolished. And he's walking from, you know, this, I, I guess, like a three-dimensional world into this two-dimensional world. And everything was just theatrics. Everything was just a, a, a stage setting. And he could, you know, I, I feel like he made the right choice walking away. So that's the image that I got. And um, I feel almost like the the energy or the tone of this reading is... is um, it's somewhat in alignment with the, the, the image that I saw. And I especially feel like for many of you, there's a lot of disappointment here when it comes to institution. And it could be a financial institution where you have to jump through a lot of hoops in order to get a loan. Okay, so for those of you who are thinking about like um, buying a property, you have to jump through a lot of hoops. And at one point, you're just like, this is a lot of BS that I have to go through. And I feel like for others, it's a learning institution where it was all about your tuition rather than the learning process. And then for others, it was like family. You know, we do so much for family members. But when it comes to, I guess, the inst institution of family, I, I, I feel like some of you... Um, I feel like some of you might have children and I, I almost feel like having to jump through the bureaucratic hoops just to register the child, you know, as your dependent, um, for example, that is really grating on your nerves. And then I also feel for others as well, like if you're, you're a business owner and you're trying to get a business license. Um, or if you have a car and you're trying to register in another state, like there's a lot of disappointment and frustration when it comes to bureaucracy, when it comes to institutions, when it comes to like having to get, it's, it's almost like we're just a number. We're just a census we're, they don't treat us like human beings. That's what it feels like to me. We're just like, you know, a serial number to them. And so there's a lot of frustration that I feel coming through with this spread. And, um, you know, hence the, the guy at the beginning, like, I've had it, I'm out of here. And then when he walks away, that's when he realizes that the, bureauc the bureaucratic process was set up in that way because the institution or the situation he was leaving behind, it was very flimsy, okay? People just go in through it. Um, and it, it's almost like it was built on something that we all know to be a joke, but the rules and the regulations are so rigid to, it, it's almost like to fool people into thinking that it's a very stable institution when it's not. So everything was a facade. Everything can be broken down, easily revealed and easily just, you know, exposed. So I feel like there's this disappointment and frustration coming through where, you feel almost like you just want to tear it down. You just want to rebuild. You just want to start from scratch. That's what it, it seems like to me. Um, I also feel like for some of you, 
um, there might also be regrets as well. And, and I feel like this is something completely separate, okay, completely separate from that first image that I saw with the frustration with bureaucracy, with the institutions and things like that. Um, this is a separate message. I feel like there was a, a situation here where you're dealing with people and you felt like you were, um, you, you felt like you were too rigid. You felt like you felt like you should have, um, you know, said things in a more delicate manner. Okay. And uh, this is definitely like, um, so somebody that you care about or a group of people that you care about and you were voicing your frustration or you were venting and you felt like you should have been a little bit more delicate or a little bit like, um, you should have held back a little bit. But when a Leo is upset or when a fire sign, any fire sign is upset, they're going to give, you know, people a piece of their mind. And I feel like if this hasn't happened already, just be a little bit careful about how you vent or how you come across. Because with fixed signs, our energy is really, really strong. Okay. It can be very intimidating when we are like, when we believe in something really, really strongly and very, um, like if you have a truth and you want to speak, you can rile people up to kind of like to, to, you know, uh, to lead people to, to fight for your truth. That's how powerful you are. And when you absolutely hate something, you can convince people to hate it just as much as you can. Fixed signs have the ability to do that because they feel things in a very binary way. They either love something or they hate something. They're either for something or totally against something. And they're very passionate. So make sure that you use your gift of persuasion to do the right thing. And make sure that you are a little bit more moderate when it comes to your view so that you don't isolate segments of the people that you want to have on your side. Does that make sense? So this is about being a little bit more diplomatic. This is about when we're upset to not speak from that space of anger, but to kind of like take a moment to, to calm ourselves before we speak. So speaking from a place of emotion, I feel like if you're dealing with people who are a little bit more cerebral, who are a little bit more facts oriented, who are a little bit like, you know, like either scientists or academics, or if you're trying to present something in a very factual manner, make sure it's the facts that you're using to back up your argument rather than the emotions that you're using to back up your argument. And so that's what I feel. It's, it's almost like this um, thing's boiling over. So you want to moderate your emotions and you want to make sure that you're seeing both sides of the story, okay? Because obviously there are always two sides to the story. There are always multiple things, multiple solutions, multiple angles, multiple viewpoints. So we kind of have to weigh out the pros and the cons. And we also need to weigh out, you know, as well, is it worth stirring the pot, okay? Is it worth stirring the pot? Um, finances for you guys for this week is looking really good. And um, I feel like for many of you, there might have been like new job offers, new promotions, new projects that you're dabbling in. And I feel like generally you guys are quite, you know, uh, resourceful. You're, you're very resourceful. You can, you know, make do with a lot less than other signs. You're very resourceful. And I also feel as well, it's almost like being able to cook for 10 people with like things that you scrounge up in your refrigerator without having to do the grocery shopping. So it's like that being able to scrounge up a lot of resources, being able to, if you have been worried for whatever reason about a loan, if you have been worried about, you know, am I going to be able to make uh, ends meet? I feel like you have more than enough resources at your disposal, but I definitely feel like you're not struggling. There's a lot of financial abundance coming through with the spread. We start out with the two of pentacles 
we escalate to the Six of Pentacles and now to the Seven of Pentacles. So progression in that regards, it's always really good. So I, I definitely feel like maybe the beginning of the year, things have been a little bit rocky for you financially. And I feel like it's not so much the financial resources per se. It's more like, what do I have lined up? What project is next for me? Some of you could be performers and you're looking, you were worried about your next gig and you were worried about whether or not you're going to land a contract. And I feel like this is the month if you are in that, you know, situation, like at the beginning of the year, things have been really rocky. You might have gone on a lot of auditions. You might have, you know, um, spent a lot of money buying plane tickets, by traveling, um, buying the right clothes even to fit that role and uh, resources were a little bit scarce and you weren't sure how much you could spend because you're not sure if there's going to be a job or a gig or a project or a contract lined up for you and this is the week where things are going to be really good I definitely see um, work contracts I see as well I see a lot of people looking over um, like a, a, a contract of some kind uh, and they're they're telling you you know here are the rules of the conduct like the rules of our organization here are the things that employees are not supposed to do and you're reading over it and you're just like wow this institution or this place is a little bit strict on their employees I, I see as well the work contract will have numbers and it will have like, um, this is how much you're getting paid. This is how much, you know, you have to pay into health insurance, unions and things like that. So I feel some of you might be shifting into possibly um, like a, a public sector, working for the government, working for the state, working for the county, working for the city, something that is a little bit more structured. And, and it could be, you know, a little bit rigid as well. But you're looking at a lot of paperwork, and I see a lot of people signing their names, okay? Legal contracts, too. Um, I'm also seeing, as well, there are some situations here when it comes to child support. Alimony, child support, somebody going to court, somebody having to um, be in front of a judge. And there are, um, there are like... Co there are contracts drawn up. This is how much we're getting. We're taking from your salary in order to pay the child support or to pay for the alimony or voluntarily, like on a voluntary basis, you might have a, some type of a spoken, like a verbal agreement between you and a significant other about how much you need to, or they need to pay when it comes to child support, when it comes to like dividing up the time, you know, the kids are going to be here today and here the next day. And then based on that, you're going to draw up the terms of, you know, child support, alimony, etc. So I do see a lot of legal things and I do see like, um, it could be a source of frustration. It could be a source of frustration. But I feel like this is the week where things get resolved. Okay, so if this is an ongoing thing. If there has been like um, lack of compromise or lack of agreement, or if the agreement has been very, very slow in coming, if there has been, you know, court dates that, that are set and then reset, because let's be honest, that Mercury retrograde period in the past was not easy, okay? It just ended on the 6th of December. So I feel like things are straighten them, straightening themselves out. So there's going to be a lot of communication in that regards. Um, I definitely see the, the financial situation is really good for you guys. So I don't feel like you need to worry about it too much. But I feel like there are divvying up of responsibilities and especially financial obligations. If somebody has been uh, reneging on their financial obligations, like if they're not paying their dues, if they're not paying their um, their the child support, and and especially if they're not paying whatever it is that they it's their responsibility to pay, there's going to be kind of like that gavel. Um, slamming down telling them that this is what you you owe this is what you need to pay and this is you know what your obligations are financially so somebody is going to be um, made responsible for their financial dealings and I feel like if you felt like you have been wrong this is some this is like divine you know karma coming back around 
to write a situation and it's going to be in your favor. Okay, so don't fret over it. Um, the last thing that did show up here in this spread is um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of travel and a lot of movement coming into the picture, especially 2019 for many of you. A lot of travel, a lot of movement, possibly a major relocation. And um, I feel like you kind of need to save up, okay? So if you are thinking, for example, um, I'm seeing like needing to needing to save up for that move, needing to save up for that change. And, and, and you kind of need to do it right now. So I don't know if it's coming in the June timeframe of next year, but I feel like it's going to happen faster than you anticipate. So like if you're waiting on a situation, if you're waiting for, you know, the, the job or relocation, selling property, even whatever the situation is, there's a need for you to save up and stockpile some money because the new change is going to happen a lot sooner than you, you, you thought. And so you want to stockpile up and you want to be ready for it when it comes. So even though everything has been moving at a snail's pace since the April timeframe, next year things are accelerated. Okay. So if, if you feel stalled, if you feel like uh, you're not really making traction, you're not gaining momentum. I feel like next year it's going to be like, um, it's like releasing the horses from the gate. Okay. So like they're, they're, um, they're hitting the ground running. Like they're, as soon as that gate opens, the horses are just charging full speed ahead. So that's what it feels like to me, like 2019 is going to be like. And I feel like you have to, you know, stockpile up and you have to get everything in order, get everything to go and get everything ready to go because it's going to be fast. Um, let me see if there's anything else here. For those in theater, for those who are actors, for those especially... Um, who are involved in, you know, performances. I want you to be a little bit careful about your uh, your feet, especially from the knee, left knee and ankles. Um, I don't know why, but you want to, like, especially if you are performers and you're on your feet a lot, make sure you warm up properly. Make sure you, um, you know, d like do the proper war warm ups because I feel like pulling hamstrings, like pulling a, uh, uh, a muscle pulling a nerve or something like that okay so just be careful about that so that is all the information I have for you Leos I hope the reading is helpful